So I think you ambushed her unfairly. And I, I understand that you took advice from your father, but you're not marrying your father. No. Uh, you're marrying her. I think what you should have done was say to your father, you know what, um, I wish we'd had this conversation a year ago. I am not ambushing my wife with 24 hours right. to make a decision about something that is putting her in a bind. Now, having said that, um, I don't think it is unreasonable or unrealistic for you to want to protect a family asset, a, a family, this is like a family heirloom to you emotionally, this house that's been given to you. But I have to tell you, this prenup is not your problem. You have trust issues with her. Going out once a week, is that a problem? Uh, it's not the frequency, it's the intensity that seems to be the issue. Yeah, but I just think like going out once in a while isn't a problem. I, see, I truly don't believe that it's a, like, I don't go wake up, ah, what am I going to have to drink today? Like, I don't drink like that. I don't drink no, like... You don't go out with that in mind, but when you go out, that's what you do. That is true, but not often. I'm not making excuses. It sounds like I'm making excuses. It's, that's because you are. I'm not, <laughs> not often I do that. Like, once in a while, we get all dressed up and go out and dance, right? That's fine. I seriously think that that's fine. I... I like, that's, if that's fine, if you, if you two negotiate that, that's, that's fine. fine. Okay. He does not believe that you, sober and rational, would make any decision that would threaten this marriage. But he does believe that when you go out and get into an altered state of consciousness, that you suspend good judgment, and that might put you in a compromised position that he would have a difficult time living with. How am I doing here? Exactly. <laughs> Love what yeah, you're doing with your hair, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> all guys think alike, right? Yep. So th that's, that's what he's saying. Now, we did a talk screen on you, drug-wise. She was clear of all drugs. And a lot of this stuff has long half-life. Thank you. And that's been brought up 150 over the past year. I've been accused yeah. of it, like, probably five yeah. or ten, five to ten yeah, times. Well, and a lot of this stuff stays in your blood for a long, long time. It has a half-life, some yeah. of this stuff for a long, long time. And, and it would, would be in, in her, her test. And she... See, Ian, she, I told you. I would never. I told you. I told you. So that's good news, right? Yep. I would like to set up for the two of you some premarital counseling. Great. Okay. That I would do if you had just met and been dating for six months. Okay. And premarital counseling covers a lot of things that you probably think you've already got worked out, but you don't. Because it's not what happens in your life that gets you upset. It's violating the expectation of what's going to happen that gets you upset. So you need to be sure that you have the same expectations. Sure. And then put this marriage back on the calendar. And, and, and I think you can have a prenuptial agreement. And he's asking for, in a very limited fashion here. Yeah, now, now, now it is. Yeah. Now it's more reasonable than it was before. Right.